Hello and welcome to you in this tutorial. I am Ismail and I will show you how you can create a realistic velvet material. This video is made by 3 ds Max 2020 using V-Ray Next. First of all, this is the environment and light setting to this project. I use its DRI map as a main source of light without any exposure. And you can download this scene from the link in the description of this video. Before we start, this is the test render settings. Now, let's start and open the material editor, then assign a default V-Ray material to object to test light and overall scene. Ok, it's look good. For this tutorial I made this map to create the material and you will find it from the link in the description of this video. Now from material editor. Add a diffuse map and make sure and check use real unit. And show material on object. Okay, let's hit the render button to see the result. Now, when we creating any material, it's important to look to reference. From this image, we can see the velvet has two color according the light direction, and we will be working on creating the same effect. To create same effect, I will use fall of map from map general fall of. Then I will add color correction to create the bright area and the dark one. Then from lightness advanced, make the gamma 0.3 to dark side and the bright side we will make it 1.5. This will give us the gradation from dark to light. And make sure we use towards the type of fall off and to explain the difference between these two types. The easiest way to explain it if we have an object and a camera. The fall of range is based on a 180 degree change in a face normal direction. So according to this example, this area what we will able to saw. But for the perpendicular the fall of range is based on 90 degree change in a face normal direction. And according to this example, this area what we able to saw. So that's what make a perpendicular effect on a color more than towards. And to make it more realistic, I will change the mix curve to give us more vivid color of the front side and the far side of the sofa. To understand how mix curve work, this is the near side and this the far side. Now let's see the result. Okay, this effect what we want. You can copy all these slots from the shift and the drag. After that, I will change the fall of type from toward to perpendicular to have a maximum lightness area on the camera range and make sure to change the mix curve to the default shape. Then link it with reflection map and reflection glossiness. 
Don't forget to uncheck the Fresnel reflection. And we need to add bump from general, bitmap, and don't forget uncheck use real world unit. Then from maps, change the bump value to 5. Okay, let's see the result. It's look good. But for more details, I will add one more layer, which is V-Ray Dirt, and mix it with Fall Off by V-Ray Context. Make sure to change the Fall Off from V-Ray parameters to 3. And this example to show you how these parameters work. Don't forget, make the operator multiply. Now I will take a copy and show you how it will change and give us more depth to the sofa. Okay, you can see the difference between these two images. Finally, this is the final render settings. Thanks for watching and hope this video useful for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget subscribe to my channel if you are not. See you soon.